Hi, and welcome back to Community Hotline. My name is Monica Weitzel. We're here at Metro East Community Media in Gresham. And with me today is Sue Myers, who is the Executive Director of Chase Me Again, which is a unique thrift store, and unique in, in a couple different ways. Um, Sue, tell me what makes this thrift store different? Well, it's a small thrift store, so mm -hmm. it's not one of the larger ones. It's different because um, we have very unique items that we offer, is what we try and go for. And I think it's different because when you walk in, it doesn't look like a thrift store. It is um, fun, it's decorated fun, it feels fun. The, all the volunteers that work there have a blast. That's the, why they're there. And they're we, nice. They're oh, very nice people that we, work there. We have so much fun. Sometimes the customers have to remind us that we have to help them because we're just having <laughs> You're such a crazy grand, talking. Yeah, playing with clothes and talking. But, but we do help the customers, and the customers get in on our visits as well. So. Wonderful. Well, you know, the, the Community Hotline is all about promoting nonprofits. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't usually have a business on the show, but there is a, an aspect of Chase Me Again that is different. Why don't you explain to our viewers what that is? Well, we are a nonprofit thrift shop, and so when people bring in their donations, we're able to give them a tax receipt. Okay. And then what happens after that comes in and we process it and it gets out on the floor and we make a profit on that, we then give that back to the community. That's great. So, yeah. So we know that the money is actually going to, to serve the area. Is it, do you, does most of your money go to the local area? Is it spread out? Or why don't you tell me who some of the organizations are that benefit from? Our first uh, and largest beneficiary is My Father's House, which is a family homeless shelter here in Gresham. Yes. Uh, they, they do a tremendous work. They are amazing. Aren't they one of the only places around that has act, that actually shelters families as opposed to just women and children or just men? Yes, in Multnomah County they are the only homeless shelter that is um, not funded with government money, so they're privately funded and they are the only one that's open year-round in Multnomah County. They have over uh, 40 families and a family is basically someone that has children okay. and so um, if you think about uh, single dads that are trying to raise children, mm -hmm. there's no place for single dads to go to That's a right. shelter. That's right. They Moms can't take, with kids can, but dads right. can't. Dads can't. And so there are a lot a of single. Service. Yeah, there are a lot of single dads at my father's house trying to raise their children wow. on their own. Bless their hearts. They they need all the help they can get. So so when you have your after you've paid your bills and there's profits, then that goes primarily to my father's house. Primarily to my father's house. Okay. So um, in the, um, we've been open a year and a half, and can I say how much we've sure. been able to? In that time, we've been able to give over ten thousand oh, dollars back wow. to the shelter. Nice. Now we have another part that we are job. doing for the shelter is that we also allow their residents to come shop at our store, free of charge. <gasps> really? Yes. Oh, that's huge. So we have a program that they get to have vouchers that are handed uh -huh. out to them at the shelter, and then they come into the store, they shop, they try clothes on. They get to go through and look at all of our household items. A lot of these people, when they have come to the shelter, they don't have a lot left. Mm -hmm. And by the time they're ready to move out of the shelter, it's a three to four month program at the shelter that they go through. Okay. By the time they're ready to move out, they're excited to start a new, sure, a new life, new really. life, new venture. The shelter will actually um, has an adopt a room program, and they get all their linens that are brand new. When they move into the wow. shelter, they have new bedding, new towels, new all that sort of stuff. They also have new dish set, uh, new pots and pans. That goes with them when they okay. move out. That's a program that the shelter set up for them, that they get to keep those items when they have oh, successfully wonderful. gotten back on their feet. But there's all the little things that and go it along. It costs a ton. When you, anytime right. you move, it costs a lot. But if you have to furnish a household. So they come into our store, and they get to also get items for their household from our store. What so kinds they, of things do you carry that would furnish a household? Oh, <sighs> Decor, oh, something to make something it at home. To, to, something to make it at home. They get pictures. They get uh, vases. They get all that kind of fun stuff to make the home special. Nice. Um, stuff they, that they wouldn't normally spend their money on if you have a limited budget. Right, and it is amazing. At first, we weren't going to put toys in our thrift store because we had just kind of thought it was a woman's thrift store. We weren't mm -hmm. real sure what we were doing, but as we put more and more toys out, the toys are selling to the public. Plus, the residents get to come in and get toys for their oh, children. That's great. And yeah, so that's that been must fun. Be very heartwarming to be able to see people come in that are getting back on their feet after being homeless. They are so grateful. I'm sure that they, they are. are so grateful. That's a, that's a wonderful service. That's a wonderful. That's service. why they're our biggest beneficiary yes, yes. because we get the biggest pleasure out of it. 
It's all about we, you, see. Yeah, yeah, it is. I'm sorry. No. But we have That's a volunteer great. that um, every other Friday takes a van over and picks up the ones that have no transportation. Mm -hmm. And so every other Friday morning, it gets a little hectic. We can have up to eight people shopping. Oh. Yeah, because it is a small shop. It, it, it is. It's yeah. bigger than what it used to be. Yeah. Well, you used we to be moved. over um, in the historic... We moved. We used to be in the basement of the old Zion Church that's right next to the Historical right, Society. Right. Okay. So we were in the basement. Um, when I started the store, this was going to be just a small, tiny store, and we were open. And it was a small, tiny it store. It was. I remember the first time I, I saw you was at the um, Gresham Art Walk, you had oh. it out on the sidewalk. You yeah. Had it. That's yeah. when I first heard about you. Yeah, Judy Hahn pulled me out on the yes. sidewalk and said, get your stuff out Judy's here. And good. I did. Judy's She's wonderful. Yes. She's been great to us. Um, anyway, uh, we started there only two days a week. It was so successful, we pushed it, went three days a week. My volunteers pestered me and pestered me to stay open longer, so we went to five days a week. We were doing so well that we decided to get into a bigger place. So now you are located at, what's, what's the cross street there? Hood and Second. Second and Hood. So okay. we are it's one. right by the, the, um, Art Park. the Arts Plaza. Yes, yes, the Art Park. Mm -hmm. We are one block up from Regalman's that's on Powell, right. so that's the kind of a, store. yeah. Um, anyway, we have uh, other things that we benefit, though. Okay, tell me about that. We also benefit Meals on Wheels. We do coin drives for them and send them money. I um, did Meals on Wheels for a year to honor my mother after she passed mm. away and just fell in love with the organization. It's a wonderful organization. Yeah. So I um, wanted to do something for them. So all we can think of at the moment is to give them cash and, and they take and it. Yeah, really? What <laughs> a surprise. Um, and then uh, we are just now getting into benefiting hospice. We have two hospice oh. groups that we've taken on that we just love. We have two volunteers that work with us that are parts of those groups. Oh, see, that's good. Yeah. That, so, that personal connection yeah. makes it yeah. more worthwhile too. We also um, are doing a little bit of stuff with Zarephath Kitchen right now. We're starting what to set again? Zarephath Kitchen. Oh, Zarephath. Okay. Yes, it's a, a place where people can go get food and mm -hmm. A hot meal once there's a day. A lot of need, especially in this East County area. As I've, yeah, you know, been there here, is. There's, there's a lot of need. So we are just now um, getting ready to help them with some of their clothing needs. Uh, we're gathering coats. We're gathering gloves. Great. You wouldn't believe. Oh, okay. You still need gloves in the spring. Yeah, People give do. gloves when it's you know winter, but mm -hmm. right now they still need gloves. So they have a, a 50 glove drive that they're trying to accomplish by the end of February, so we're collecting gloves for them. Okay, good. Well, that's, that's an easy thing for people to get. That is very easy. Just bring it into our yeah. store, say it's for the Zarephath closet, and we pass it on to them. Right now we have a bunch of coats to give to them. And Great. Yeah. That's wonderful. So those are the organizations you're working with now. Currently. And, and you may, do you change them up periodically, or you might? I or? would never go away from doing my father's house. Mm -hmm. It's just... Um, that's my it's so important. Yeah, it's that's the one that, my love. Yeah, it's so close <laughs> to you. Yeah, good. So, but there's a possibility you may benefit other ones in the future. It's oh just, yeah, you can. You can just. We have so more. much potential. So much more than I ever realized when I opened it, the store. Well, you've gone from two days a week in a little tiny space to five, uh, day how, five days a week in a much bigger space. And now, didn't you tell me you were expanding even more? Yes. So, so we moved to the new space in October. Uh -huh. The landlord just immediately, this last October. Just this last October. Okay. The landlord immediately started talking to me about taking over the place next to us. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but Jim Regalman's mother mm -hmm. um, actually worked in a thrift store that was in downtown Gresham. Oh, really? Yes. And Jim way, Regalman of Regalman's Furniture and Appliances yes, there? Yes. Yeah. And so his mother had worked or ran a uh, a thrift store that benefited the community as well. So really? he is just thrilled that we're there. So he's the landlord. Uh, he and his, his the entity of yeah, the Regal Right, Lens. right, right. Yes. Okay. Anyway, so he was interested in us taking over the space next door, and we did some negotiating. And he he is a very good landlord, and we <laughs> good, got a good. really good deal. And we're excited that we will be opening up our new place in March. Next month. Wow. Yes. Soon. It's going fast. The city's That's helping us so right along. Do you have enough? clothing and products for that area? Well, we're what? not putting clothing in the other area. We're doing consignment furniture. Oh, okay. We've had a lot of consignment furniture coming through our store already, but we have very little space for it because we had so much clothing. Oh. So we needed a space to be able to put in more uh, furniture. I have a backlog of people that want to bring in the furniture. Great. It's a 60-40 split, and so the store gets the benefit right. of the 40%, the person that is bringing it in gets the benefit of the sale. It's a win-win, isn't it? It's very much a win. And there's a huge need for nice 
used furniture in the area. Oh, we have boy. a lot of wonderful furniture I stores. But when I moved. I well, so you know, you're not going to go buy a new dining room set until you get rid of the old one. Yeah, well, when, I, when you downsize as significantly <laughs> as I did, you just have to get rid of everything. Yeah. So my huge well, dining yeah, room you, set went, you know. But you, then but, you needed to go out and buy a small dining room set. No, there's not enough room. Oh. <laughs> Sit in front of the TV, eh? No, no, there's not room for a TV. Oh. Either. <laughs> okay, it's very Aren't you at the homeless shelter? No, I'm not. <laughs> but, you know, that's a great deal for the people that are trying to get rid of some oh, stuff. You yes. know, to get new stuff or to move into a tiny place. Well, and we have a lot or, of the elderly that um, Craigslist is a wonderful avenue. Mm -hmm. But for the elderly, it's hard to have someone come into your home and you're a little bit well, nervous about that. It's also a bit of a danger. That. There are, yeah. you know, I mean, I think Craigslist is great, but there are times when people have been scammed or, yes. or hurt in that. So yeah, yeah, for safety's sake, dealing with an organization like, a, like Chase Me Again is great. So what about the people at my father's house? Will they be able to use some of that furniture too? Have you decided well, that yet? Well, um, there is a lot of furniture that the shelter gets that goes into storage units. Uh -huh. And they, um, they get their storage units free of charge from the storage unit places, but mm. they have an abundance and they mm -hmm. can't use it all. And it's the same with their clothing. They can't use it all. So they send the extra to us. And so that's why we are able to give so much back to them. The, so the furniture, some of the furniture, will be coming from the shelter that's donated to them. Residents will be able to come in and get that. So the consignment stuff, obviously the people need to get money for that because right. it's on consignment. But, right. but something that's been donated straight out or that it's gone to... Then the residents can have that free right. of charge. Great. That, it's just something that we work through with the shelter that we're trying to figure out, you know, how to be sure. And then if it does sell when it came from the shelter, the shelter gets that 40% cut. Oh. Great. So they're making yeah, good money on the that's furniture. Great. I mean, the sixty percent cut. Yeah, excuse yes, me. Yes, you get the forty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not joking. Don't get a twist there. Yes. <laughs> now, um, you have an event coming up. Why don't you tell me about that? We do. Uh, the volunteers. <laughs> you look excited. About I know it, it's so fun. The volunteers in our store. Um, we just have fun. We just play all the time. Good. And See, so, it sounds like you have a good place to work too. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. And so they came up with the idea of doing a, a um, fashion show because we have so many beautiful things that come in. Some things still have the price tag on them from the original oh. store. So uh, we decided to do a fashion show. Once we moved into the larger space, we were like, hey, we got the space, yeah. we, got, we can do this, push back all the racks. So you're going to do it right there at the store? We're gonna do it right there at the store, actually, because we just signed lease on the empty space next to us. I think we just made the decision. The city <laughs> came through today, said they can get us our occupancy permit before. Oh, yeah. So I think we'll be in the new space for the show. But anyway, the show is all items from our store is being featured. Good, good. And all of the models are the volunteers from our store. Oh, wonderful. We also are serving a light tea, and oh, we have nice. uh, tickets for sale. You can come into the store to buy the tickets. And this one, the group decided, the volunteers decided, this is the thing that will be benefiting hospice. Oh, good. So all proceeds from this will be going to the two hospice groups. So if people are interested in checking out some some new used items for sale, or if they are a big supporter of hospice, and who wouldn't be, they're a terrific organization. Oh, yeah. They do amazing work. Um, or they just wanna check out something something new going on in the neighborhood, they can come or to the- come hang out with the ladies and yeah, get in on the laughter yeah. <laughs> and the tea, and the, it'll just be fun. And what's, what's the date again? That is March 3rd, it's a March Saturday. 3rd. Okay. And it's from 4.30 to 6. 4.30 to 6, at Chase Me Again on 2nd and And you do and have to buy the ticket ahead of time. Okay, so you will you can sell them either at your store, or um, is there a way to get them on the website, or just the information? No, on the, the website? information would, actually the information's on Facebook. On Facebook, okay. So go to the Chase Me Again okay. Facebook page. Good, good. Yeah. Wonderful. So um, the, the money for this, the proceeds go to hospice. Mm -hmm. and do they know that? Do they know you're doing this and they're... Oh yeah, they're, they're excited. Are, we have representatives from both groups coming. They also will be asking for volunteers at that time. They'll also oh, be making yeah. a pitch. Good, good. Because good hospice really works a lot on volunteers. Yeah, it's a, it's, it would be a, a difficult volunteer job at times, but it would be a very rewarding volunteer It's job. not as scary as you might think. Really? Yeah, it, to me, thinking of hospice, it feels like you're gonna be trying to help someone to go through that last difficult mm -hmm. stage. And really, I think more what hospice is, is you're, you're walking in to give relief. 
mm-hmm. to the family oh, members. Yes. Oh, yes. It's the family members yeah. that need that. And they're so grateful. Yeah. I have known so many people that have used hospice, and I have not needed personally to use it in my family, but I know plenty who have and said that was just a lifesaver to have that. Well, in the store, when we tell our customers that mm-hmm. this benefit is for hospice, we've had customers tear up. Oh, I bet. And just say hospice was so important to us when whoever it was. have all sorts of stories, don't yeah. you? Yeah, we do. One, one of the great things about working in that, in that kind of an environment, people either are benefiting from it, know somebody who's benefited from just any of the organizations you're supporting or know that that's what you're doing. That's, yeah, I bet you get a lot of great stories. Mm-hmm. So the, um, you have the fashion show coming up and then the new space will be open for business sometime in March, you think? Mm-hmm. And I forgot to mention that we also are doing um, antique and artist booths. Oh, in, are, in, in the same in, area in where the, you do the, in the new, right. furniture. Right. So there is booth space available for people to come in and rent and be able to oh, put their wares. Okay. So okay. we're going to have that as well. Oh, we There's all sorts of stuff going on then. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Makes yeah. it fun. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it interesting. <laughs> That's good. So what, um, what was my question here? You are going to be having this new space and you're going to have the, the artist booths and the, and the uh, antique furniture or whatever the antiques mm-hmm. are. Will that also, how do you work with that with the The, the proceeds there? that the store gets off of that, again, mm-hmm. the profits from that will continue to go to our charities. Okay. Good. So it's all still under the Chase yeah. Me Again nonprofit status. Wonderful. It's just another way of bringing in the income and it's another way of helping the community. Good. Because there's young artists out there that have never had their stuff. What a great opportunity yes. to show it. Yes, yes. we already they may not be able to get into a gallery or something right. like that. Right, and also the antique malls are all typically backlogged. There's yeah. no room for these people. This is just the getting other, better and better. Well, I know I have just been <laughs> amazed at this story. The other benefit that I never saw going into this was that we are benefiting the people that are coming in and shopping. We have had so many people come to the counter and we ring it up and we say, you know, what their total is, and they say, thank you for putting these prices so low mm-hmm. that we've been able to come in and get these items. They're just so grateful. I got a couple great things there. I well, I've and... bought a lot of stuff yeah, there. Yeah, I'm sure you have. <laughs> well, and I'm sure I'll be back in for more, but in fact, I, I bought a really pretty maroon top that was kind of like lace sleeves. It was really nice. I wore it on one of the community hotline shows oh, a couple and, weeks and ago. And did you tell people where you got it from? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> I, I always do. I always tell people that. It's like, oh, I got this great shop down in Second yeah. and Gresham. Chase me again. Yeah, no, you do really have some nice stuff there. Now, one last thing. You said the, the your volunteers are going to be the models in the fashion mm-hmm. show. Tell me about your volunteers. Where do they come from? They come from my shoppers. They come in and they look at what's going on and they say, do you need help? And we say, absolutely, here's the schedule, sign up. Great. And we have right now over 20 volunteers. Oh, we have 15 cool. that are doing the show. Um, we just, I, I've been amazed. Like I said, I only was going to do this two days a week because mm-hmm. that's all I could handle with mm-hmm. the n- life I had. And, um, that you had. That I had. That was, you, you caught yes, that. Yes. And um, people just started volunteering and the schedule filled up and there wasn't any room for more volunteers. Wow. So we had to add an extra day, then we had to add more days. So. It is truly just the public coming in. And do you we have, have a need for more volunteers? We do. Yeah, okay. We do, because okay. they turn over. Okay. We do. Uh, we have teenagers that come in and work, oh, so we get that young flair. You know but that's we good have... work experience for them. Yes, you know, it is. It, it, even if they're not getting paid for it, that's great on, on a kid's resume. I, we had you, a know, gal... you can't get work experience. We had a teenager come in when right. she was 15. Mm-hmm. She's been with us for over a year now. She works once a month. and. She's great, and we've just watched her grow up. She's very oh, efficient at the great. cash register. She knows what she's doing. She can take care of problems. She's Good. great. Wonderful But experience. we have women in their 80s oh, that you, you would do. never know that they are that much older than me. Uh-huh. They are cuter than me. They, <laughs> they can run circles around me. They are great, and it's just it's so That's fun good. to have that wide. Sounds like a nice work environment. It yeah. is. Good. Okay, so. Uh, we're just about out of time, so we have the fashion show coming up on March 3rd. If people are interested in making a donation, I assume you would take a donation. Absolutely, straight whether up Whether it be cash or uh, a donation to the store. And Correct. And if people want to go to the, go to the uh, fashion show, they need to go to your store and pick up some tickets there. Thanks so much, Sue. Sounds like you're doing a terrific job, and good luck in the future, and I hope the new expansion goes really well. Thank you, Monica. Thanks for watching Community Hotline. That's all we have for tonight. Be sure to to uh, tune in next week. We'll be back again. So this is Monica Weitzel. We'll see you next week.